Okay, so uh, it's me again. It's um, December 27th, and uh, that would mean we're uh, in between Christmas and New Year's. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I put up a video, but as you know, I was traveling. Um, I was in uh, France for a few days, uh, Paris, and uh, then I came back to work for a couple days and went down to the Dominican Republic for about a week, six days. Um, and then the next day I was off to Boston, uh, Gloucester to see my family for the holidays and uh, I was there for a few days I just got back. Um, I didn't think I would be but I was kind of busy back home and I wanted to do some videos. There was piles of snow everywhere like at the airport there were like 20, 30 foot piles of snow. It was crazy. It's been snowing there quite a bit. <clears throat> I wanted to do a video outside in the snow, but it just never happened. Um, but anyway, I'm back in New York and um, wanted to just do a very quick follow-up. Um, first of all, uh, you know, my Paris trip was uh, kind of a nightmare. Um, had a big fight with my friend. Um, and uh, he's not really talking to me right now. <laughs> Um, although it's kind of a crazy drunken situation and, you know, I'm on all kinds of pills and stuff and just turned out to be a crazy night. <clears throat> uh, hopefully he gets back to me. Uh, I sent him an email. But anyway, um, that shit happens with guys. Um, drunken guys. <laughs> anyway. Um, but other than that, it, was, it just rained every single day. It rained for, I think I was there for five days, four nights. It just rained like hell. Um, you know, I went through two umbrellas, wrecked my leather, leather jacket, um, was standing on top of one of those buses, you know, those tour buses, the red ones with the open top. And I'm like standing like on the Champs every day, like trying to get pictures of the rain pouring down, trying to hold on so I don't fall down and my camera out there. It was just crazy, but I did manage to get some really nice pictures and a great shot of the Eiffel Tower with the reflection of the rain on the on the pavement stones at the um, observation area. Uh, it was really cool. <clears throat> I think I'll have a video. Um, and then, uh, you know, I did all the sights and stuff. It just rained like hell. The weather was terrible. I was soaking wet, changing twice a day, you know, wrecked a pair of nice shoes. <laughs> It was crazy. It was crazy. Just it was just from the first nights at the tone, and it was just a disaster. Um, and uh, you know, I invited uh, my ex-girlfriend to come. Actually, I didn't invite her. I bought her a ticket to come out and spend the weekend in Paris with me, since uh, my friend went home. I was there by myself, <clears throat> and that was neither nor particularly. I mean, you know, meh, something we can't really talk about here, but uh, she came out and, you know, we, we made the best of it, we had a good time. Um, and uh, then came back and went to the Dominican, uh, and that was a lot of fun. I went with, uh, um, went with my cousin, and uh, that was an interesting um we stayed in Santo Domingo, and of course, you know, ten minutes after we got there, there was this pimp who wanted to sell us some hookers, and we were like, no, no, no. Anyway, he, the short, long story short, he ended up being our um, our tour guide. We were like, paid him fifty bucks a day to be our driver, tour guide, translator, just general caretaker. It was the best twenty five bucks I spent. Twenty five for me, twenty five for my cousin. It was brilliant, you know. Picked us up, dropped us off, did the whole thing. But uh, uh, I've got, I'm going to have two videos for both of those trips, so I don't want to get too much into it now. But anyway, the weather was great. Uh, I think my tan is start to, starting to fade. These lights are really bright, and they look like a ghost anyway. But um, that was a lot of fun. No problems there. <laughs> um, did some gambling in the casino downstairs. Actually ended up winning some money. Um, did a lot of stuff. So uh, watch out for that video. 
those two videos are taking a little bit more time to produce because they're a little bit fancier and I'm trying to put still videos, still pictures in there and um, so it's uh, that's coming so watch out for it. Anyway, how am I feeling? Uh, I have not been feeling that great. I suspect it's probably because you know I was drinking on my two trips. Um, I didn't drink that much but for two nights in the Dominican you know we were up till three o'clock in the morning in the casino and they give you free drinks and you know how that goes and I literally I'm still recovering from it <laughs> like a week later it's crazy um, not recommended to go boozing while you've got cancer and on hardcore treatment so anyway that was um, that was a lot of fun um, let's see um, <clears throat> Today's the day after the, uh, the day that I take my steroids, so my voice is, is kind of cooked, uh, so <clears throat> I apologize. <clears throat> oh, one other cool thing, kind of cool thing, I, I, when I was home for Christmas, and this is where, you know, I guess you could probably start this video, is uh, I went home and, uh, you know, my transplant's coming up in just a few weeks, um, my autologous stem cell transplant, and um, when, I, when I was in the Dominican, I got... Uh, I got a couple emails like clustered together from three different of my college friends who I hadn't talked to in a while, who I hadn't told about my cancer. Well, right away I knew that someone, someone had found out. Um, so I saw these emails. I've been talking to all these guys. These are all my good friends from college. Um, I planned on talking to them and writing them all letters and like writing everyone letters personally before I went into the transplant because I think this is a real um, crossroads, you know, and uh, I want to just write to all my friends and uh, just talk about how, what the experience has been like personally um, to each of them and then do the transplant. There's always a chance that, you know, I don't survive the transplant. Um, it's a small chance, I think it's one or two in a hundred, but it's one or two in a hundred and you never know. <clears throat> so. I just wanted to get these letters out to people, but these guys I had planned on writing to. I just didn't want to burden them with this cancer business um, until I was getting toward the transplant and, and that kind of thing. Anyway, long story short, they uh, of course were really supportive, and I was like, "What? What? You know?" They told me right off the bat that I, Brandon, from my hometown, told them, uh, forwarded them my YouTube link, um, which I think is you know, it's fun. I mean, it's all you, right? Can't stop people. Um, I just think it's interesting that like I've known the guy since I was 12 and he just forwards the link and doesn't even reach out to me. What's up with that, Bunga? So I come from a small town, Gloucester, Massachusetts. It's very, 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 very gossipy and um, you know, this is a five-star gossip item, you know, for people between the ages of 27 and 36, you know. It's, it's a big deal, um, and believe me, that's not. I'm not saying that from a from a cocky point of view. I, could, I don't I'm not. I didn't want people to know. I didn't tell anyone. Uh, but I knew sooner or later it was going to get out. But um, so now these guys are writing to me. They're really cool guys. I'm glad you guys on board.